Hi everyone, it's Cage Taylor and I'm here at the Tribeca Film Festival where LFG is about to premiere. LFG is a documentary about the U.S. women's national soccer team and their fight not only for a World Cup but for gender equality. Filmmakers and players are here for two goals. One, to spread a passion of soccer and two, to bring attention to the women's fight for equal pay. Cage Taylor from the Nocturnal. So what was the moment that you realized you had to fight back? You know, you have been fighting for equal pay, equal fields, equal accommodations. You know, take us back to that, your breaking point. Um, I think it was after our win in 2015. When we were like, oh, awesome, we did it all, we did all the things. And not a thing changed. <laughs> so it's like, okay, this is, that's, you know, kind of when we decided to uh, file our EEOC claim. And then obviously, you know, the, the rest is what it is. So I think that was kind of the moment where we were like, oh, you can't outperform inequality. Got it. That's, that's our moment. You have to do a lot of the legal work yourself. Like, what stopped you from giving up, you know, when it got difficult, when it got hard? Um, I just don't even think that's an option. I don't think anyone ever even thought like that. Um, like, uh, yeah, just it seems crazy to do that. Uh, and I think very quickly we realized this was so much bigger than us. Um, so I think that responsibility um, really resonated with people. It's like, okay, we, you know, yes, this is for us, but we're also, you know, very privileged in the grand scheme of things. So we're the ones that have the ability to have a mic and to do this kind of stuff and talk to the media and go on talk shows and get in the paper. So we felt like this was about so many other women. You know, who a lot of times are the only ones in their job, or um, they don't feel like they have anyone to talk to, anyone's listening. Uh, so we felt like, okay, we can be uh, this sort of megaphone and microphone and talk with and for people. Uh, and I, I just feel like there's, you know, there's 20 whatever of us, and there's millions of other people that is kind of funneling through this microphone. So we kind of shoulder that, and it's just there's there's no option for quitting. One last question. So, what would you tell young Megan today, you know, how, you know, about your fight, how you got to this point, like, what advice would you give them? Uh, don't listen to anyone, <laughs> basically. Don't listen to anyone anything told you, it's all bullshit. Um, yeah, just, like, trust your gut. Um, trust people who are, like, similarly situated to you. Um, I think, you know, so often we're told you're not this, you're not that, you should be like this, and, like, try to squeeze into this, you know, tiny little box that no one ever fits into. So just make your own rules. Um, try to do the best you can. You're gonna fuck up at times, and uh, you're not gonna get it right all the time. But I feel like, you know, if that genuine intention is there, um, that's all you can do. You, you learn, you grow, um, and you continue to try to make things better for yourself and everyone else around you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Please tell the nocturnal. Excellent. So first off, what inspired you to capture this story? Yes. Yeah. So I called Every Woman Studios. It's our entire mission to tell stories lying about women, especially in places where we don't see women in content. So if you think about women in sports and this lawsuit, this was like a bullseye for me. But I think also what these women were doing when they issued this lawsuit, I thought this is a story that has to be told. It's the way that they're doing this, their fight. If it's not told now, it's never going to be told. So I wanted to make sure that we could tell the story. So how did you make it happen? Like, did you contact them? Like, what was your yeah. plan? So I started by contacting some of the folks associated with the team. Molly Levinson was in the movie. Was their strategist? And initially, the feeling was this is going to be very hard to do because the women were just training for the World Cup. They weren't available. So we had to talk to people around the team. And then um, when they came back from winning the World Cup, almost two years ago from today. We met Megan in New York, not far from here, the hotel just around the bend, and told her what we wanted to do, why we thought it was important, and she just said, I'm in. And that's how we started. From her, we went to other players, and you know, we really wanted to tell a story of the collective. You know, and Megan said that. She said, it's not just about me, it's the whole team. And so getting different players who each had their own experience and story was really important. So what were your first impressions when you met the team? Well, I mean, they're very cool. It's you know, you see them play, they're badass athletes, but in person, they have that swag. They're, you know, Megan has that cool factor. We met with Kristen Press, 
Yeah, we met with Kelly O'Hara early. They all have such personality off the field. And it can be, you know, it's a kind of humbling moment because as a producer, you know, you want to capture their personalities and do this right. And we very much felt a very high bar for this movie to make sure that we did them justice. And is there anything that surprised you when you met them that you learned about their fight? Um, that, you know, you hadn't seen, you hadn't seen yeah. I mean, I think one thing that surprised me is just how much work it is that they actually have to do this themselves. You sort of think with lawsuits like this that there's lawyers and back rooms driving the process, but they had to do a lot of the work, they had to drive the process. And in order to do that, they established their own organizational structure within the team. They had a lawsuit committee who worked on it. So the way they organized themselves and how much work it was was surprising to me. And then one last thing, what do you hope audiences take away? I think audience, I want them to take away that these women should be paid equally. And I want them to also take away that even in this moment in our culture, women as a whole are not paid the same for men for equal work. And so as a, as a country, as a nation, as a world, we need to fight for equality for all people, no matter race, creed, everything. And this story is one that I think everyone can relate to. You know, every woman's at that moment where they feel like they're not paid equally. And if these women who are the best world beating athletes in the world aren't, what does that mean for everyone else? So I hope people say, I want to do something. I want to fight for equal pay. Buy tickets, go to games, show up. Great. Thank you so much. Thank you.